In this video, I'm going to show you how to use coolers. You can get to it by going to coolors.co in your browser. And it is a free tool. You can pay for it if you want to. There, there's additional features that you can use in the Pro Edition. I've got it. And I actually use this tool quite a bit to create color palettes for clients. And it does, it does require you to know at least a little bit about what color palettes are going to appeal to your clients. But if you have that information, then you can quickly make a really nice color palette. Now it's got a couple of different tools, actually several different tools, but the ones that I'm gonna show you right now are going to be the trending palettes. So we click on explore trending palettes and that's gonna show you a whole collection of palettes that you can choose from. You can see there's several pages worth here. I can just keep scrolling. So if you find something you like in there, great. If you need to narrow it down, you can see there's a search at the top. And so for example, I can narrow it down to warm colors. So we've got these color palettes here, or I can go with dark or vintage. There we go, or rainbow. So you've got a lot of different styles. If you're looking for a particular topic, so if you're making a website for a uh, swimming organization, a swimming lesson company, then you could choose water or something like that. Uh, or if you're trying to make something for a maybe a spa, you could look at relax up. Oh, there's no color palettes right now, at least not trending. Um, or if you're making something for weddings, you could choose wedding and you can see there's a lot of color palettes for wedding. Now, another tool that we've got, if we go back to the homepage is the color palette generator. And this is the one that I use most often. So I'm going to click on start the generator and it's going to give you a color palette with five colors. It's just going to start off with a random selection. The nice thing about these palettes is that the colors go together. Uh, you can change the type of selection that you're getting here. Uh, so you can see you can generate, you can choose a different generate method, um, but you can see that you can choose monochromatic, analogous, complementary, split complementary. You might not be able to do this unless you have a paid account. I'm not positive. I have a paid account, so I can use all of them. Um, but you can see if you press the space bar when you're on this page, it's going to give you a different randomly selected color palette. And again, the colors go together. So using whichever uh, generation method you've chosen. Now, if you have a logo to start with, or maybe you wanna start with a photograph, you can upload that. I, I've worked with a lot of clients and, and this is part of why I use this. I'm not a designer, but I do know quite a bit about colors because I've worked with a lot of designers. I've been in the web development business for 28 years at this point. So I've done a lot with this, but uh, sometimes uh, my clients will come with me, come to me because they've got a logo, but their designer didn't give them a complete palette to work with. So they gave them maybe one, two, or three colors, but typically we need five, six, seven, eight colors when we're working on a website and they all need to work together. So what we can do is click on this little photograph icon, this camera icon, and you can upload a logo. Or if maybe they don't have a logo, you just need a color palette that works with maybe some of their pictures that they've got, uh, you can upload the picture. If you're completely stuck, uh, you can go to stock and you can search for a picture. So let's say that, for example, I'm making a website for a tea company. I can search for tea, press enter, and it'll give me several options to choose from. I can use that picture as a starting point for a color palette. So if I click on this photograph, for example, you can see it gives me a few different palettes to choose from. So I actually like the first palette right there. I'm gonna start with that. So I'm gonna click on next and choose open in the generator. And that gives me my palette. Uh, it made two copies of the same color. So I'm actually going to make a lighter version of one of those. So you can see if I click on the shades this little grid here, I can use a slightly different color. Or I can take that color out. Say I don't like it, I can just remove it from there. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with these three colors for now. I'm gonna remove this one and go from there. Now, you can add more colors. You can add, I, I don't know what the maximum is, but you can add, I've, I've got palettes with 16 colors in it. Usually when I create a palette with that many colors in it, I'm creating shade variations of the colors. So for example, if I wanted a light version of this, I can just click on this plus button here um, and choose, I'm gonna copy the hex, paste it in here, 
and then choose a lighter shade. So I would just maybe choose that for a different shade. Uh, now I can lock the colors in. So let's say that I wanted to add a color that goes with these four. Uh, I'm gonna click on the plus over here to add a fifth one. And then I'm gonna lock all of these other colors. So we already know that these colors go together because that's what the generator gave me. Based on that photo, it gave me a palette that works. And then it's going to, if I press the space bar, it's gonna give me some additional colors that work with those other colors. So we've got a few here. Let's see if I can find one that I like. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it takes a little longer. Uh, I'm not finding one that I love. So what I probably do in that case is again, use variations of the, the three colors that I've got. So if you get a logo that's got two or three colors in it, you can work with that. Now, another thing I wanna note is that I typically don't put pure white or pure black in my palettes. Uh, I try not to use pure white and pure black on websites, uh, but what I will do is I'll take one of the primary colors. So for example, this green, and I will copy that. I'm gonna paste that here. And I'm going to use the shades to pick a very light green. So this would be my white color. This would be what's what's pretty close to white. Uh, and this black is actually, it's not exactly black. It's not pure black, but it's pretty close to it. So I'd probably use that for, for my black color. Uh, and I'm gonna make a copy of this and I'm gonna add it here. And I'm just gonna use a darker color, slightly darker. There we go. I like this one. There we go. So I've got like a brown color here. So this makes a really nice palette. Uh, I can use this on my website. I can use it with my branding. Um, you can change the, the type of color that comes up here. So um, you can see by default, it's the picker, um, but you can, you can choose CMYK. Uh, so you can see what the different what the different colors are, but it's going to give you that um, that uh, hexadecimal color code there for uh, for your web developer or web designer to work with. Now, once you pick out your color palette, you can then share it. So you can actually copy the URL there and share it with your web developer, your web designer, whoever you're working with. Uh, you can also click on this export icon here and you can export it as a PDF. So if you wanted to share that PDF with your web developer instead of the link, you can do that as well. And it will put the hex codes in there. You can also save it. It does require an account. You can create a free account to do that. Or if you wanted to save a palette that's got more colors in it that you can save with the free account, then you can upgrade. The, the cost is not very much. I can't remember how much it is, but I do remember saying, wow, that's pretty inexpensive for, for a tool like this. Another thing I want to show you that's really useful for here for this uh, tool is the palette contrast picker or checker. Um, if you click on that, you can see it'll do combinations of the colors. So you can see what colors will work together. So this is all of the valid ones. So you can see here, I can use that, that black. Uh, there's enough contrast with pretty much uh, with, with most of the other colors, not all of them. Um, but you can see if I turn on all, it's going to show me some of the variations don't work. Like this dark red with the, the black doesn't work. So you only wanna use valid color combinations if you're trying to keep your website as accessible as possible. So that is something to keep in mind. Another feature that we've got here is a color blindness checker. Uh, so this is gonna show you what the website would look like to someone with these different types of color blindness. So you wanna make sure that the, uh, the color palette still works with those combinations. So if you turn this on uh, and then check the contrast checker, um, it only puts the original colors in there, but you could um, apply the palette and then you can do the uh, color blindness checker with that. So, and notice that there is an undo button. So if I say, oh, nope, I didn't want that uh, palette applied, I can undo and go back to the previous one. So you can also do that. So again, very useful tool, very useful features. Uh, try it out, check it out. If you have another color picker, another color palette generator that you use, let me know. I'll be happy to take a look at it. There are some other color palette tools that I use, uh, but this is the one I wanted to focus on right now because it's the one that I use the most. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.